which is gathering in the darkness of Friday the 13th. Hello. I am a witch from Blair, and tonight, on my broom, we are flying to the other side of the moon and back. Hold on tight, and let's begin. Today, on Friday the 13th, the doors to the world of magical and dark beings open. Get ready for a terrifying journey into the world of witches, creatures shrouded in ancient legends, myths, and fear. Today, we will unravel the mysteries and explore the essence of witches in mythology and culture. We are delving into the dark forest of the unknown art, where sorcery and magic rule the world. What's special about Friday the 13th? The connection between Friday the 13th and witches is rooted in historical and cultural folklore beliefs and superstitions. This connection is based on the fact that both elements, the number 13 and witches, were associated with negative superstitions and considered omens of misfortune. The number 13 has long been associated with bad luck and disaster in various cultures. Scandinavian legends claim that at a banquet in Asgard, 12 gods were invited, but Loki arrived uninvited, leading to tragic events. In Christian tradition, Friday the 13th was associated with the Last Supper, during which Jesus Christ was betrayed and crucified. This association with misfortune became ingrained in culture and myths, intensifying the fear of the number 13. As for the connection with witches, the Middle Ages and the early modern era were a period in history when the persecution of witches and wizards was at its peak. During this time, people believed that witches gathered for conspiracies and sabbaths to influence the world through magic and dark rituals. According to legends, these witches would gather on the night of Friday the 13th to perform their sinister rituals and charms. Thus, in many cultures, the number 13 and the day of the week, Friday, became associated with darkness, magic, and misfortune, making Friday the 13th a symbol of witches and their gatherings. Witches are beings with millennia-old roots in the mythology of different cultures. They emerged at the intersection of Christian and pagan beliefs when women were considered possessors of secret knowledge and could heal, prophesy, and perform rituals. But this wisdom was a source of fear for religious and authoritative structures. This fear and lack of understanding led to the creation of the witch's image. The appearance of witches varies depending on place and time, but they are often associated with the night, the moon, and secret knowledge. Witches can be old or young, beautiful or ugly. They are often depicted with a broom, a black cat, or a bubbling cauldron symbolizing their connection to magic and sorcery. The character and behavior of witches are also diverse. They can be kind, caring, and helpful to people, but they can also be malicious and vengeful. Witches are often associated with feminine power and sexuality, which puts them in conflict with societal moral norms. Witches possess various magical abilities, they can foresee the future, heal illnesses, cast spells, control the elements of nature, and even communicate with spirits. Their magic is often linked to nature and its cycles. The image of witches embodies the struggle between ancient pagan beliefs and Christianity, between magic and the church's inquisition. Witches are often mentioned in literature and mythology, such as in Shakespeare's Macbeth or the tales of the Brothers Grimm. The relationships between witches and humans depend on the plot, but they often interact as teachers, healers, or seductresses. In mythology, their main enemies are usually the church and the inquisition, who fight against heretics and witches. There are many variations of witches in different cultures. For example, in Norse mythology, there are Valkyries who lead warriors into battle. Witches in African traditions may be associated with voodoo and necromancy. Eastern witches, like Japanese yurei, also have their own characteristics. Among the countless legends about witches, some famous ones stand out, such as the Hixane Machen or the Witches of Salem, stories of witchcraft that left a mark in history and literature. Witches are associated with places where magic and mystique prevail. They may dwell in forests, abandoned graveyards, mountain caves, 
or mysterious villages where time seems to stand still. Witches have much in common with other mythical creatures like fairies, vampires, and werewolves. However, witches are usually closer to nature and magic than other beings. Throughout history, sacrifices were often made in their honor to appease their magical power. Witches have often been depicted in art and literature. Their images can be found in ancient manuscripts, stained glass windows of medieval churches, as well as in modern paintings and books. There are many mysteries and enigmas associated with witches. One of them is the actual existence of witches. Many researchers and mystics still search for evidence of their existence to this day. In the Middle Ages, the Inquisition cruelly exterminated those they considered witches. Witches could use poisons and herbs for their spells. Witches often gathered for witch gatherings in the woods. One of the most well-known legends about witches is the story of the Salem Witches, which occurred in 1692 in Massachusetts. At that time, several young girls claimed to have been bewitched and began accusing other women of witchcraft. This led to mass hysteria and a large number of arrests and executions. Have you ever been to a witch's gathering? Let's take a peek behind the magical curtain that conceals all these dark events. A witch's gathering is a mysterious and mystical assembly of witches, which, according to legends and myths, takes place on the night when various magical forces converge, often associated with Friday the 13th or other magical dates. Witches gatherings involve various magical and occult rituals and serve different purposes. Sacred rituals and invocation of spirits, witches perform rituals to summon spirits, goddesses, gods, or natural forces. They may ask for help or perform rituals of gratitude. Divination, witches can use various methods of divination, such as fortune telling, tarot card readings, astrology, and other methods to receive prophecies. Healing and potions, during witches gatherings, witches also engage in the preparation of healing potions and herbal remedies, as well as healing those in need. Magical practices, witches can teach each other magic and occult arts, exchange knowledge and experience. Connection with nature, a witches gathering may involve worship of nature and a connection with its energy. This may include dances, songs, and rituals related to nature. As for the participants, not only witches but also other magical beings and occult enthusiasts may be present at witches' gatherings. Witches' gatherings are often associated with communities of practicing magicians, and they may gather in secret to celebrate their rituals. There may be differences in practices and purposes of witches' gatherings in various cultures and traditions. Today, witches continue to exist in modern culture. They often appear in literature, films, and video games. Over time, their representation has changed, but the essence of their existence remains the same. Here is a small selection of movies, video games, and books about witches. Movies The Witch, 2015, Director Robert Eggers The Witches of Eastwick 1987, Director George Miller The Witches, 2020, Director Robert Zemeckis Video Games The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, developed by CD Projekt Red Dragon Age, Inquisition, developed by Bioware Bayonetta, developed by Platinum, Games Books The Witching Hour by Anne Rice Witch by Christopher Pike Witches of East End by Melissa de la Cruz Witches permeate our culture and history, serving as symbols of female power and magic. Share your stories, opinions, and questions about witches. Do you know any girls you consider to be witches? Thank you for your attention, and remember, witches gathering is a sin.